I'll just do one point perspective drawing again. This time it'll just be a different scene. This is supposed to be a tunnel and it's the same steps that we've been doing the whole time. Again, what I'm using is a pencil, I have a pen and I have an eraser. I'm not using a ruler in this lesson. Um, I'm using the pencil and the pen just so it's darker on the in the video. So your, your case, you can use a, a light pencil and a dark pencil. So that's what we're aiming for. So what we'll be doing is I'm going to be using a, an A, sorry, an A3 sheet of paper. You can use an A4 or whatever you can get your hands on. So what we're going to start off with is just above the, so I'll go around halfway along the page, a horizon line from left to right. You can use a ruler or a straight edge if you want. I'm not going to use it in this case. I'm going to pick a line here, pick, sorry, pick a dot on the center. That's the vanishing point. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw another line just below the horizon line, just a bit lower, right across again. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line coming from the vanishing point outwards. And again, vanishing point outwards. I'll do two of them. And again. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw vertical lines going up, up, up and up. If you can see that now, I'll just do it, do it darker. Um, and I'm going to connect them. So and up and around. So like a U or so. Okay, so there and there. And then around the vanishing point, I'll do the same thing. So it's going to be vertical line, vertical line along the horizon. And again, a U shape or an N shape, if you like. Okay. So this is going to be the wall, the outside wall. I'm going to actually put another line going across from left to right, right across the top. I'll do two of them. So it's going to be a wall of, um, this is going to be a, a wall, the top of the wall even. Right, so next thing is I'm going to draw a vertical line coming from the vanishing point down. I'll just do two of them. So now what I'll do is I'll start marking off so it, it kind of goes from, it kind of has an angle, it goes from the vanishing point out, slightly at an angle. And this is going to be the lines on the middle of the road. Right, so I'll just draw, draw a line going horizontal. And again, horizontal. You can spend a little bit more time a little later on on defining these lines but you get the feeling that it's going away. So things that are closer to you are bigger. As it's getting further away from you, it's getting smaller and it's going towards this little vanishing point here. Right, so what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna change these into rocks, like I had at the start. So I'm just gonna do, say, boulders. Again, it's all sketching at the moment, so you just use a pencil, just mark it all out. So I'm just gonna have, under kind of, You can be quite loose with this to start. We'll define these all in a little, a little later. Always start your drawings with pencil. And then when you're happy with that, then you can go in with a darker shade or in my case, a pen. Okay. So then I'm actually going to draw another line coming from here. I'll define that a bit more. And again, I'll just do it out here. This one's a bit wonky, the one I made at the start. I'll just kind of clean that up a little bit. Right, so kind of get, we're kind of piecing it together. So I'm just going to do lines going around from left to right, go right across. I'm going to use these, change these into little bricks. Again, it doesn't matter, it's going to be light. You can use a, um, a straight edge to get a bit more um, accuracy there. Right, I'm kind of getting happy with this here at the moment. So what I'll do is I'll just kind of I'm just going to put little lines here so it kind of looks, gives you the feel that it's a, um, it is a curb. So if you, I'm actually going to straighten this out a little bit, this one, this is the initial draw, the initial line. See, it's easy to rub out because I've actually just, I've done it lightly. So there we go. So I'm going to start putting in parts of the detail. So this is, the whole point is, so this is like, the road's going into a tunnel. This is the outside. This is the other side of the tunnel. This is the entrance. And the the, uh, the road lines, and on the side here you have just bricks. It's like a kind of um, big boulders, if you like. Um, but you can have like trees here or so if you want. These are details you can put in. What I'll do is I'll just do another line coming from the vanishing point out. Do two of them, and up and out. And I'll do the same thing here as well. 
So up and out. I'm just going to put in here at New York. Just so it looks like um, kind of like tunnel lights. Right, I'll go in and start darkening it all in there. Right, so I'll, I'll do it with a pen. In your case, you can do this with the um, darker pencil. And again, as I mentioned from the start, you can use a straight edge if you like. I'm not going to use it because it's a little, it takes a little longer. But as you'll notice, same steps as per usual. So vanishing point, horizon, guidelines, these are all terms you're going to get used to. Um, so This is supposed to be the, the lines on the road. You see how I'm, I'm kind of being very quick at this. Just don't want these videos to go too long. Okay, I start to get the gist. The gist. So, so that's marked in. Am I gonna go? Okay, and now. Give him a shade if you want. And we'll start to find these lines here. So you'll realize with all these um, one point perspectives, these types, there's many different types of drones you can do with the same steps. It's quite creative. Um, as I mentioned before, you don't have to be an artist. You can just use these simple steps um, to create these this, this three dimensional effect. So to give it a feel that it's a um, tunnel, I'm just gonna draw a line on here. So I'm just gonna, this is cross hatching. It's called cross hatching because I'm going right across each line. Um, in your case, you can use pen, paint, you can use um, pastel, coloring pencils, whatever you, have your hand, whatever you have handy. I'll just do the capstone here. You can obviously then colour in um, the stonework we have and the rest of it. Like, um, just going to put a bit of shadow on the road. Um, I'll just do... Give, to give it a feel that it's bricks and then you can go in for fill in the detail of the rocks you'll notice I'm just using the pen one pen now at the moment obviously you can use shading with the pencil you can use pastels you can use charcoal if you want charcoal is quite quick as well gets quick and then gets a nice effect a bit harder to control sometimes but it's a good thing to experiment with um, let's fill in these here now. So the reason I'm shading and uh, putting lines along the sort the, the, the corner of say, along the edge of the uh, bowlers is to give it a nice feeling of depth. And when you're doing that, try to keep it on the same side. So I'm going to keep them all on the left, so it's like the light's about hitting, come from this direction and this side of the rock can't get light, so it's it's being cast, a cast sorry, a shadow's being cast right across. And um, so I'll just, just to give it a feel at the top of the bridge. You can do a little kind of grass. And grass again, maybe. So the grass is going to get bigger, coming towards, towards you. You start putting in a shadow of along here for the curbs casting. 
so the light's coming this way, the shade, so the light can't get onto the outside, so the inside of this um, curb. So I'm just gonna cross hatching along the inside, and I'll do it along here as well. Um, so it's gonna be along here. Maybe a bit more shade inside here. So that's it pretty much um it's quick yeah i just i obviously flew through this you have more time to spend more time at it but the same deal vanishing point in the center um horizon line another line along long below so the long below will give you the um give you the bottom of the tunnel and along the horizon i've actually ha i've kept the the road and where this tunnel exits so you can obviously put in the sky in the background here this is the top of the wall you can spend more time at putting in the bricks and all the rest of adding in color but again just to show you one point in perspective there's many different things you can do with it it's quite creative um and it's quite basic you don't need to be able to draw to do these you're just following step by step and again you have the option of using the, the straight edge or a ruler you don't need to um, i didn't in this case and yeah give it a go test it out and yeah see how you get on more importantly guys try and enjoy it and yeah I'll leave you at that. All right, take care.